Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Jain and welcome back to the Inflix DB tutorial series part 6. And before continuing with this video, I would highly recommend you to watch my previous videos so that it would be very easy for you to follow along with this video. Right? So let's quickly do the recap and see what we're gonna cover in today's session. So in the previous video, we covered how we can store the CSV data into the Inflix DB by using the Python library known as the pandas with and the Inflix DB Python API client. In today's video, we're gonna cover a very interesting topic and a most frequently used topic uh, for any database. So we're gonna cover how we can take the backup and how we can restore that backup, right? So in real time scenario, there can be a n number of reason for which you have to take the backup and you have to restore it, right? So we're gonna see that. So from the prerequisite perspective, your Inflix DB server and your Inflix client has to be up and running. Right, so let's quickly run this DB Inflix DB server. I'm hoping it should not be turned on right now. Okay, that's fine. Now let's quickly run the Inflix DB client. Okay, so let's quickly see what all databases we have. So we have a bunch of databases. So what I'm gonna do is uh, this first DB. Okay, let's quickly see what do we have in this. So in first DB. I didn't get into that first DB so let me get into that now we can see how many tables do we have in this and we know that by now we refer table as a measurement so we have web servers and temps these are the two tables which we have right? and we can quickly check how many records we have in each table what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete this DB so we have 288 records and similarly if I just check in temperature table And we have 50 records right what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a backup of this first DB database then I'm gonna drop this DB then I'm gonna restore it right so how we can do that with in the inflix DB so inflix DB provide few of the commands which we can utilize for utilizing those commands we have to get into the command block right so to see what all inflix DB what all command inflix DB provide to us my bad now you can see the commands which inflixd provide us these are the commands which i'm just highlighting backup config help restore run and a version okay so we're gonna utilize the backup command so now what we have to do is inflixd then i'm you know, gonna use the backup then specifically i'm going to take the backup of only one particular db which we had decided the database name is the first DB and where are we gonna create the backup we're gonna create the backup in a same location where are the where where the inflix DB server executable is but I'm just getting inside in that location and I'm just creating another folder backup and this particular folder is not yet there right you can see on my screen right the moment I'll just hit this command it will create that backup and it will create bunch of files that we're gonna discuss just see First, what it does is it's taking a backup. If you will see here, backing up, backing up a meta store inside the backup with the name of meta.0. So this is a metadata of your database, which contains all the supportive information like user information and the structure and all this stuff. And then you can see the backing up of first DB. And here the important part is backing up of first DB, RP equal to autogen, shard seven. This is what the main important part, because if you want to just restore the very selective part through shard you can do that right we're gonna see in the upcoming videos not in this video because there is a lot of stuff which is uh, related to the backup and restore but in this video i'm just gonna cover the very basic stuff right now we have taken a backup the next thing which we're gonna see is we're gonna see what all tape what all files are getting created by this particular command you can see we have this meta.0 which contains the metadata then we have this particular file which actually contains the data right now the next thing which we are gonna do is we just gonna drop a database which is nothing but a first DB right. let's quickly see what all databases do we have here you can see the first DB has gone so we have deleted that and you cannot see the first DB here now we're gonna restore it right so to restore it uh, we have to understand few things right so inflix D 
this will give you the config which I have explained in my previous video how we can configure like right? these are some configure configuration setting which is on which this local inflix db server is running right so the important part which we need to see the location of our metadata in this local installation we have the metadata folder here then we have a data folder here right so if i just go this particular folder i can see this meta and data and this is really important when you are restoring a data if you are running the same inflix db on server on a unix machine you can run this command and you can see where is your meta and where is your data right because this is the most important part in the next uh, in the in the while we will be restoring you know the data right so now we know where you know our meta resides and where our actual data resides for the inflix db on our local machine i have already you know i have a command so now what we're going to do is we're going to restore the db so to restore the db inflix d restore then we have to give the database name that is first db then i have to give the location of my meta directory that i have already copied right and in my case right and similarly i have to give the data dir i'll, I'll put all these commands you know uh, in the comment section for your reference and this is data then i have to give the location of my meta file and the actual file right so this is where you know my meta and the actual uh, actual file which has the actual data is, is stored right so let me just run it ah oh, just see i just spell that wrongly and just you when you will be using this just please keep, keep give a at most care while you know putting all these flags right i hope this time i haven't made any mistake yeah so it means that you know the restoring has been done now we should be having the data so now to see that uh, whether the tape database has been restored or not what you have to do is you have to stop this server okay let me just close this client Again, I'm just gonna restart this, right? So let me just quickly run the Inflix client and see whether we got the database back or not. Here you can see now we have the first DB again. So let's get into this first DB and see what all tables do we have in this. wrong <laughs> sorry my bad i use that in the word <laughs> uh, so now we have the tables uh web servers in the temperature let's quickly verify the count i think after that we are done uh from the demo perspective yep we have the correct number of records restored back in temperature yes we have correctly restored the data so from uh, from this video i mean that's it from my side from the agenda perspective and thanks for watching this and thanks for all support and if you really like these videos and you want me to come up with a new topic uh, if you want me to cover any new topic uh, uh, in inflix db or any other devops tool or any other new technology please feel free to put that in a comment section and as always if you have any feedback through which i can improve my videos or my upcoming videos please feel free to put that in a comment section i'll be more than happy to improve my upcoming videos based on your feedback thanks for watching this again and that's it from my side and keep learning, keep watching.